So hello and welcome to another video of the control structures. In this video, I'm going to talk about the alternate syntax of the if and else statement. So here you can see I have created the if else and else if statement. So first of all, I have a number here. I have initialized this number with the value of 10 and here I'm checking for the condition and now the condition is if the num which is this one is greater than 0 which it is as you can see then this block of code will be executed and the output will be the number is positive as you can see now there is only one line inside this if uh, block so now uh, after that you have this else if block and inside this else if block you have this condition if your number that you are typing here is negative which is uh, which is like less than zero then this block of code will be executed and if it is if the number that you are typing here is equals to zero then the final block that you have typed here will be executed which is the else block so this is our code and now the thing that you should notice is that you only have the one line of code inside each block so now what you can do you can just omit these curly brackets from here so i'm gonna cut those curly brackets and i'm gonna use the alternate syntax now i'm gonna type the alternate syntax so first of all let me just cut those opening and closing curly brackets then what i need to do i need to type the colon here after this if statement and then after that i need to also type the colon here after the else if statement and now i need to also type the colon after this else statement and finally here you can see i don't have anything to end here so when i what i need to do i need to type the end if statement here and if and then the semicolon to terminate this if statement now for making the traditional if and else statement the uh, new with the new syntax you need to type the colon after the if statement and then if you have the else if statement then you also have to type the colon after that and then here you have the else statement and now after this else statement you also have to type the colon we didn't have anything to end so what we did we just use the end if keyword to end this if and else statement and finally we have typed the semicolon and that's how we create the if and else statement with the new syntax but this is only valid if you have only one line of code in your if or else statement if you have more than one line of code then you have to use the old syntax which is with the opening and closing curly brackets so that's it for this video guys I hope you found this tutorial helpful and now I will see you in the next one.